So I want you to imagine yourself in your grave and the angels, they approach you. They ask you the three all important questions to see if you pass the test of life. Who is your Lord? What is your religion? And who is your prophet? Imagine you're in that state right now. Will you be able to answer those questions? You need to live by these answers so you can answer them in your grave. But a person can't live by something that he or she does not know. So you have to learn these things. For that reason, we have a Islamic studies program and we'd like to invite you to take a look at the program by joining our Telegram group at the link below. And if you like it, inshallah ta'ala, and you think this is something that could be suitable for you and you may be able to learn that you're deen here, then you can register for the first year of our program. And hopefully, we see you on the other side. Salaam alaikum. Because the salah yeah. are physical actions, right? The salah is physical actions mm. and it's statements. But if your statements mm. and your actions are empty mm. without your heart being engaged, it's not going to have an effect. Sure. So, what does it mean that sure. heart is engaged? It means that you know who Allah is. Yeah. You've got tawheed and aqeedah. For example, Hassan, when he would do his wudu, he would start panicking. He would, he, he, would, he would start shaking. He say, Why are you shaking? He said, I'm going to stand before Allah. Okay, some of the uh, Ibn al-Qayyim mentioned that some of the ubad, the righteous worshippers, a man came to him and he said to him, I get distracted in my salah. So he looked at him and he said, So what do you get distracted by? Like paradise, does that distract you? Do you get distracted because you start thinking about hell? Do you get distracted because you start thinking about the women of Jannah? He was like, No, I get distracted with the dunya. He he couldn't the guy couldn't understand it because he was like, Bro, you're supposed to be so engaged with Allah that the only thing that you should be distracted by is maybe a paradise or hell. <laughs> like, as in, he's this man who worships Allah, he's like, Bro, my only distraction in Salah is that uh, my brain wanders off from Allah and he starts thinking about the women of Jan Jannah. <laughs> but he could he he couldn't even imagine imagine that he starts thinking about dunya. You know what that comes down to, Akhi? Yeah. Knowing Allah. Yeah. Akhi, if you stood in front of a, a big general who, who you know. Your freedom was in his hand, or your or your pr imprisonment was in his hand. Allah, you'd be respectful. Have you looking on the ground, humble? When it comes to Allah, why not the King of Kings? 